Welcome to the Best Kept Secrets podcast where we share our best kept secrets about life, love, God and everything in between. Hi guys, welcome to season 2, season 2, episode 2, season 4 of the Best Kept Secrets podcast where we share our best kept secrets on God, love, life and everything in between. Clearly, I haven't been shooting for a while because how can I even forget what season we're on? Uh, but I'm so excited for today's episode. I hope you guys are well. Thank you for watching us if you're on YouTube. Thank you for listening if you're on our audio platforms. Um, today's guest is someone so sweet, so special. I usually let my guests introduce themselves, which I will. So please the sweet special girl oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> please introduce yourself i'm sure you're talking about you but um uh, it's so nice to see you and thank you for having me of here course. i'm so proud of you let me start with thank that thank you um maureen whitey too and uh i create content um impactful content i'm a mom businesswoman um and many other hats that i wear yeah yes you know, Maureen, every time I see her, she affirms me so much. She always tells me how proud of me she is. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we've always had like a big sister, small yeah. sister bond situation happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, This is also kind of like a full circle moment for us yes. because... Years ago, I think yeah. like in 2019, 2019. <laughs> yeah, um, I used to have this thing on YouTube. I used to call it the couch series mm -hmm. and I'd have like f people come to my couch mm -hmm. in my small tiny yes. house, <laughs> 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 my small tiny first house when yeah. I'd moved out to my parents' house mm -hmm. and we'd have conversations. So Maureen was one of the people that I had on and mm -hmm. we had a conversation on mental health. Yeah. At the time in 2019, the rates of mental health and weight was mm. it wasn't as bad as it is yeah, now yeah um so i feel like now that i'm here and i have you on my actual proper podcast <laughs> Can you imagine it's such a full circle moment because yeah. back then mm. podcasts weren't really a thing mm. and now i have this entire thing and you're here and i'm so happy that you're here i'm so yeah. happy i mean I, I was like why is this girl not calling me we talk <laughs> so when of i learned course. that I'll, I'll be yeah. on this podcast i was like yeah. wow i've seen your heart then yeah i've seen your vibes you know just by observing what you do on, or online yeah. and seeing this it's honestly a very ha happy moment for me as well yeah, yeah. thank you so much <laughs> So today we're having a conversation on social media, the pressures that come with it, um, how it's affected us or good or bad, you know, yeah. everything to do with social media pressure. Because I do feel like we live in a very digital age and um, I think whether or not we know it, social mm -hmm. media plays such a big important role in our day to day lives yeah. and the things that we consume, the things we take on. Um, and I want us to speak not only as content creators, mm -hmm. but also as consumers yes. and users of social media. So, um, have you ever felt like social media has pressured you to do anything or say anything? Yeah, it has. It has. Uh, to do anything. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a time um, I used to, I, I went through a very rough time on social yeah. media, like mm -hmm. full blown, mm -hmm. uh, you know, bullying and, and all that. And I felt the need to like become very small and almost invisible. And at the same time, you know, I had to do what I had to do because this is my work. Um, every day you wake up, there's something, there's someone doing better than you are. And of course you have to learn, like mm -hmm. people will only show the good side of everything. Yeah. So you, you know, you find somebody doing something and you're like, why not me? Uh, why is this not happening as fast as possible for me? And then there's the direct, you know, pressure where people will especially talk about your appearance. Mm -hmm. Case on point, like myself, um, um, when it comes to my weight, it's like everybody is just a hot topic. You know, it's like yeah. okay, she's added weight. Uh -huh. She's lost a lot. Okay, there, yeah. there's always somebody who is unhappy, and of course, y you find yourself like hiding mm -hmm. or not fully showing up as yourself. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm not very silent when it comes to those things. I I call people out, like stop it, mm -hmm. like leave people alone, because it's already so hard, especially yeah. for a woman, and then yeah. being a woman the right there like 
under a microscope. So, I, and I don't get it, like why people feel the need to scrutinize and 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 criticize everything you're doing. But, but I always say it's projection. I don't think anyone who is in a good place uh, or if they're doing okay can give you something that they don't have. People only give you what they have. Mm. So if they give you good, they're good. If they give you bad, yeah, yeah something is going on with them. So... I mean, I feel like I, I relate to some extent mm-hmm. about the weight comments. Mm-hmm. Um, did like did you ever, you know, go to the gym or whatever because you felt that pressure from social media? Oh yes, I mean, <laughs> I went to even very extreme measures of mm-hmm. you know, um, like last year I had a a, a gastric balloon, the you know, balloon trying to yeah. shed all mm-hmm. this weight, and still. Mm-hmm. People are like, oh no, no, stop it! No, you've lost Don't, too much. <laughs> too much. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I found a middle ground, and mm. people still have to say it. Oh yes, yeah. it's it's always there. But then uh, I think the older I'm getting, the more I realize that those comments won't yeah. add anything on my table. Yeah, mm, I'm just like, okay, whatever. You yeah. you focus on that. I'll, I mean, and hey, the bigger you are, the more of you you are. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. dopeness becomes mm. more. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why people are so hell-bent on that. I think for me, um, I definitely have had a lot of pregnancy uh-huh. comments. Yeah. Um, and I'm just like, can't a girl just have a food baby? Thank you. <laughs> Can I just not be bloated on the internet? Apparently, it, you can't be bloated oh and be on goodness. the internet. Like, I wish people yeah. understood how many changes our bodies go through yeah. within, like, 30, a cycle, 30 days. Yeah. Uh-uh. I, I hear you. And the thing is, mm-hmm. I feel like in most times, it comes from other women, which I struggle with because as a woman, mm-hmm. you know the changes our bodies go through Mm -hmm. so why are you you know coming to tell me a stranger or someone okay maybe you followed me for a while so you feel like I'm not a stranger Mm -hmm. but why are you you know coming and telling me things Mm -hmm. I think that's actually very bad manners and especially because you don't know the struggles that I have maybe I am trying to have a baby Mm -hmm. and I'm struggling and I can't have a baby and then I'm seeing all of these comments Mm -hmm. I think the most unhinged comment I've ever received oh, was no. mm-hmm. um, from the live experience we had in December. Mm-hmm. Um, I was wearing heels mm-hmm. and someone was just like, oh, you know, you should stop wearing heels because you're hurting the baby. Oh, the baby needs goodness. to... I'm like, what baby? Like, what baby are you talking about? <laughs> and what do they have yeah, to do with your apparently, heels? Apparently, like, my feet looked swollen or something like that. And I'm just like, I have chubby feet. Maybe this is the first time you've noticed. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but other than that, mm-hmm. I actually remember an incident in 2020. Mm-hmm. You remember the Don't Rush Challenge? Oh, yeah. Where we were all passing each other. Yes. Yeah, yes. brushes and yeah. whatever. Yeah. So I had just moved back to my mother's house mm-hmm. and it was COVID. Like mm-hmm. all of us were going through mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. So I did the Don't Rush Challenge mm-hmm. and um, I got comments about my foundation not matching the rest of my body. Oh. It looked lighter than mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. So um, at the time... Mm-hmm. Honestly, I I felt horrible oh, because no. it there was a lot of like comments about that mm-hmm. and there were also like um there was like someone on Twitter who told me, Oh, you know, you're just like pretty because of makeup. Because oh, you know, the don't rush was like a before yes, and after, like yes. before makeup and then after yes, makeup. Yes. And my uh, answer to him was like I can't spend all of this money and time and effort to buy makeup yeah. and look the same. Exactly. What's the point? I, wow. I want to look different. Yeah. I want to look better, if anything, not different, but mm-hmm. just better. Mm-hmm. Um, so I didn't know that at the time mm-hmm. that you could go somewhere and yeah. get shade mash yeah. and find your perfect shade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, which leads me to <laughs> our sponsor for today. Yes. Our first ever sponsor for BKS. This is just like like a f- again like a full circle moment of sponsor for today is Estee Lauder and they have um, opportunities for you to go mm-hmm. to any Linton store and get your perfect shade matched mm-hmm. so I know you use Estee Lauder oh, yes. please tell us more yeah Ah, so before I even jump on that, yeah. uh, I think I'll just mention that I think women really need to get together, yeah. especially now that we're celebrating uh, Women's Month. month. Yeah. Um, I think it's 
I mean, you can you, you can agree with me that ninety eight percent of anything negative you've seen or heard comes from other, other women. women. I yeah. wish we can do better yeah. and you know have our shades matched. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, but yes, um, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder are the best thing first of all that ever happened to me. Mm -hmm. It's a company that has soul. Mm -hmm. It's a company that really, really delivers what I think the founder um, had in mind. And uh, in this particular month and next month, we'll be doing a lot of uh, what uh, we call the double wear uh, experience, mm -hmm. whereby you can go to any Linton's and you get your shade matched. Mm -hmm. And when you do that every Friday, yeah. um, you will get your foundation uh, in a small package that will last you seven days. Oh, yes. okay. And like a be, sample The size. sample, yes. Okay. Uh, so that you can interact with it, see mm -hmm. how it works on you. Mm -hmm. But... Um, it's a very amazing foundation, mm -hmm. which, first of all, it's proper matte. So very mm -hmm. ideal for people like myself who have oily skin on some parts. Yeah. Like I couldn't sit like this under these lights and mm -hmm. not glisten like a yeah. like a donut. <laughs> <laughs> I only allow that yeah. when I'm doing my products at night. Yeah. It's also non-transferable. Mm -hmm. It has a true tone. So whatever you apply, and I'm sure you've encountered that, you apply your foundation, then when you leave, it's looking different. It's a difference. Yeah. Like you applied something different. Yeah. Whatever you see in the mirror, that's what you're going to see the whole day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of other benefits. But all I can say is that go to Linton's, especially yeah. on Fridays, mm -hmm. where we'll have foundation so can... Friday. Oh, cute. Yes, yeah. yes. That's so nice. Where were they when I needed them? Where they're, here like, now. Okay, they're here now. <laughs> they're here now. But maybe I wouldn't have been trolled at that time. But yeah, anyways. Yeah. Um, another question mm -hmm. I wanted I, I'd like to ask is mm -hmm. has do you feel like social media has affected your mental health in any way because we're both big on mental health yeah. and our first ever conversation mm -hmm. back then was on mental health yeah and I know you've had your own struggles mm -hmm. has social media like played a part in any of that all of it <laughs> all of it all of it yeah mm -hmm. um in fact, I thought I was handling, you know, that situation we want to talk, we don't want to talk about very well, mm -hmm. until now the messages and the insults started coming in, oh, wow. and I slipped into this dark place which I wouldn't even wish anyone should. But I think it's important for people to be sensitive and be careful when they 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 send something out. That alone can make you or break you. And mm. for some reason, I don't know why, I think anything negative, it's like uh, having, we say what, uh, 10 potatoes and one is rotten. Yeah. It will make the entire sack uh, really, really yeah. stinky. So, um, yeah, it's it, it's been, I've been there because of social media. I've also been able to heal in social media mm. and thrive in it. Mm. So, yeah, but it plays a huge role. I mean, that's why we work. <laughs> that's why we work. Yeah. And we say your mental health will be affected by uh, where you live. So who you're around with, your mm -hmm. family, your place of work. Because those mm -hmm. are the two places that we spend, spend a lot of time. time. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes you just want to disappear. Then you're like, okay, and then what? The yeah. purpose is bigger. Yeah. So power through it. And mm -hmm. of course, I mean, I, I don't want to say I've grown a thicker skin. It's more like, now I'm able to handle people again you see when the ship is out there in the ocean there'll be waves it will be pushed back and forth but it has to arrive to its destination mm -hmm. that's why i like to see social media yeah yeah um i like what you're saying that you don't feel like you grew thicker skin mm -hmm. because i don't think we should get to a point where we have to grow thicker skin no. i just think that people need to be kinder and yeah. more mindful mm -hmm. with the things that they say to strangers exactly. especially right mm -hmm. so i don't think we should get to a point where we're like we're like yeah because when I was starting out in the industry, I mm -hmm. was told, mm -hmm. you know, you just have to grow thick skin. You just have to, you know, I don't want to no. do that. I just mm -hmm. want to be able to just live my life. Um, exactly. So because we, we, we are talking about social media mm -hmm. and, you know, the pressures that come with it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt the need to fake anything in your life? Like, you know, soft mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Because there was a time where soft mm -hmm. life was mm -hmm. a, like oh a big goodness, thing. Yeah. I just want to live yeah. a soft life. Mm -hmm. Have you ever like felt the pressure to do any of that? Never, never. Really? It's, it's, it's not in my character mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, and I, I do go back since I was a little girl. 
um and i look at how i handle things things i don't know how to hide if if it's bad it's bad <laughs> i won't show up i won't be there so uh with social media it, it's it's very easy to say that you can show up and pretend like everything is okay probably also living a soft life no the life i live that's what you're going to see mm, and this is what you get exactly and then anyway, that's not my purpose uh i say it's a very empty way to live where all you you're doing is to prove a point to people mm. and people are just living their lives yeah. but here you are you know going like yeah my enemies should see this <laughs> I'm like no you you're yeah. living the wrong purpose yeah. my purpose is to just fully and completely show up as my self Mm-hmm. and if possible my best self mm-hmm. and sometimes not my best self but at the end of the day i also have two little boys who are looking up to me mm-hmm. is that what i'm going to teach them like yeah. f- this whole thing of fake it until you make it no mm-hmm. the thing is w- what you are who you are do it for you or your mm-hmm. higher purpose in this case mm-hmm. being god and everything will just find its way around yeah yeah i like that you brought up your boys mm-hmm. let's talk about your motherhood journey <laughs> yeah. um which has also been quite public to yeah. some extent mm-hmm. um have you felt any sort of pressure with that with how you parent mm-hmm. or how you show up as a mom or any any of that uh, I, honestly right now if you ask me what my greatest achievement and something i don't even take lightly and i'm not modest about it it's me my my mothering mm. I, i love being a mom how i'm raising them the opinion or rather anything that will construct what i tell them or do for them it all comes from god mm. like i'm so intentional to to hear um you know how god is guiding me yeah. and it comes from a lot of tears whereby mm-hmm. you have to sacrifice a lot of things mm-hmm. um not only monetary but there's also like your feelings you have to put these kids first but pressure no of course there'll be a person who come and say something negative it's it, it, and it's in social media there'll always be someone who'll find a mistake there's a time i, I remember when i i fixed their room to, to at the apartment oh, where we live yeah. yeah it was so beautiful mm, was, right yeah. someone is like oh uh because it was a man i'll never forget oh you're giving them such a soft light they will grow up as sissies and i'm like you wow. better not go there because words yeah. are very powerful uh in fact oh, let, let me just point this out uh, it's it's a great lesson i learned as a parent there's a time when my youngest was one he got his first haircut he's like a handsome boy so i put him on social media and i said mr break your niece's heart mm. and a friend of mine called me and told me morin you, you have authority of your children Mm-hmm. do not speak that upon them mm-hmm. rethink how you're going to present them and to the that world. changed yeah. my entire mentality uh, whereby exactly because yeah. as a parent you have authority where the custodians and then embracing kids who I, i i should be able to be confident enough to let them go to the world i'm mm-hmm. just a custodian Yeah. So when I learned those things um it's become easier and easier. Mm-hmm. Of course even when uh, I'm praying I know exactly what to pray for and it's always wisdom, resources, mm-hmm. good health, long life and yeah. and but the most important one is to teach them the way you know so that when I'm not there and any time and that can happen yeah. they should be able to take care of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good yeah. actually. Mm-hmm. Um I think I have I mean I'm not a mom yet mm-hmm. but I always wonder would I post my children on social media mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on on that uh, if I knew what I know now mm-hmm. <laughs> I you wouldn't would never really yes yes mm-hmm. I I guess I didn't think I would be I would blow up on social okay. media mm-hmm. but uh if you notice I actually, I've actually reduced so much on posting them because they also deserve privacy a childhood mm-hmm. uh they don't need those comments to be invited yeah. you know uh, so i've kept it strictly if there's something we are doing they will appear here and there we move mm. but if i knew what i know and if i have another child i no no social you media for them yeah really mm. that's so interesting that's something <laughs> i definitely yeah. battle with because i'm not yeah. sure how mm. i would want um, yeah that to go but i like how um how your friend was able to 
call you out and just yeah. be like no yeah. you don't speak mm-hmm. such words over your children and exactly. especially not on social media because that's what people are going to absorb and that's what they're going to repeat and that will be the the thing yeah. they say about them and honestly i've seen it i've seen it um, especially when the dad has posted them somewhere and someone picks it and puts it on a blog and you see the comments that mm. people write i'm yeah. like i cancel that in jesus name i cancel <laughs> that no my children will grow up to be wonderful men and i found them yeah. every day yeah. we don't every evening we have mm-hmm. to pray mm-hmm. and they hear what i pray for them and mm-hmm. i'm like god yeah. do not let them be corrupted uh, mm-hmm. be with them wherever they go it's it's such a task like motherhood is not for the weak because it's 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 okay you can raise a human being until they're old enough mm-hmm. but really nurturing them it's a yeah. completely different story and mm-hmm. intentionally nurturing them yeah so yeah it's um yeah your your mouth it has yeah. a lot of power that's great mm-hmm. um i like that you've learned that and you're you're while well, they're still young you're able to nurture that yeah. in them yeah. um yesterday i was watching a video of some not really a study mm-hmm. but experiment mm-hmm. i was in an experiment let mm-hmm. me just say experiment for lack of a better word mm-hmm. of this young girls mm-hmm. who the i think they were teenagers mm-hmm. they were brought into a room and their moms were in another room but mm-hmm. they didn't know they were there mm-hmm. and the interviewer was asking them how mm-hmm. social media and its pressure has impacted them yeah. and all of these yeah. things mm-hmm. and a lot of them have body dysmorphia mm-hmm. uh because of the celebrities the standards, that have the been standards put out. and all yeah. of this so yeah. um one of them was just like yeah you mm-hmm. want Ken- Kendall Jenner's body she has a great body blah blah all of yeah. these things yeah. so do you feel like you ever look at anyone on social media and you ever feel the pressure because i have i personally if mm-hmm. i was disciplined enough and mm-hmm. went to the gym mm-hmm. i would want a tea and a tail mm-hmm. body mm-hmm. but also i'm just like hey the way my <laughs> jeans are set up <laughs> I don't know if that's even a possibility for me. Yeah. But I'm not like killing myself for mm, it. I'm mm, not like mm. dying to have it. Yeah. So do you did you ever like feel that? Did I? I do. Oh, you do. Till okay. now. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. Sharon, I'll sometimes I'll stand in front of the mirror and I see my own things. Like body dysmorphia is an actual thing for me. And again, it comes from that constant feeding of perfection my goodness you go through hey it's like almost every body yeah. on instagram has this perfect body mm-hmm. and it's very easy to think oh um maybe that's how I should be looking like or even being compared to uh, come on 10 years ago i looked very different yeah cuz i didn't have kids and mm-hmm. uh, you know the older we grow the more the hormones are like hey, yeah and your metabolism <laughs> mm-hmm. slows down it slows and, down yeah. yeah but it hap- i won't lie it happens all the time to date mm-hmm. to date i will have moments mm-hmm. where i'm i look at myself and i'm like oh ew you mm-hmm. know why is my stomach looking like that why why am i uh, yeah it, it's yeah. there it's so there so how do you deal with it like what what do we do i i don't know i i mean it's something that i've come to accept i had not accepted it mm-hmm. uh, but i've come to accept it and what i'm saying is uh, i'm looking at what my body has been through it's been through a lot yeah and i have to just extend myself some grace cuz mm-hmm. if and i've seen women who've changed right there like last year they they were pregnant this year they've added all this weight and i keep looking at them I'm like wow they look so nice like it's damn like why can't i tell myself that mm-hmm. and it's all in my head cuz of one or two comments yeah. whereby you see somebody like they're so invested they even taking your photos somewhere and saying now look at her and let me tell you those those comments can be so hurtful mm. yeah but i'm trying to just extend myself grace yeah. and of course try my best to also live uh, you know a healthy life i just mm. do my best whatever the body side to do it's up to it yeah. yeah i mean i think the the emphasis should be on extending yourself grace yeah. because like you said we go through so many changes in our body mm-hmm. your body has literally given hey, birth to, to two, two children yeah. you know of course it's not going to look the way you looked when you were 21 nope. or 20 or anything like nope. that i would even want to want to look like that so i look at <laughs> like my pictures when i was younger yeah. i think even like that phase like 2018 2019 yeah. i was a lot smaller yeah. than i am yeah. now yeah 
and every single phase of my life yeah. i felt bigger than i actually am mm. like i look i think back of those moments yeah. and i'm like oh i used to think that i was so chubby or oh, so fat right. and whatever then i look back and i'm like first of all i was yeah. practically underweight I know. <laughs> yeah so i'm trying to like appreciate my body in every single stage that i'm in mm-hmm. because i know i look back in like 2 3 years and i'm like oh Wait, i, I was so hot good. yeah exactly. but now in this moment Yeah. I don't feel like that in this moment I just mm. feel so yak and I yes. feel so chubby yeah. or or whatever so yeah. I'm just trying to appreciate my body in every moment exactly because yeah. they say you this is the best you'll ever look anyway not not ever yeah. like that probably for now for now where you are right so now so why not yeah. um or i love that just stop and say hey i'm beautiful as i am enjoy enjoy those clothes just enjoy yeah. and then I think it's it's so even in life in general we waste a lot of time trying mm-hmm. to say what if mm-hmm. why not mm-hmm. uh, living in regret in regrets just yeah. stops mother flowers and move on we are both creators mm-hmm. do you feel like we have some sort of like social responsibility mm. to you know not put pressure on people yeah as mm-hmm. you know creators not just as because we consume social media but we also create yeah Yeah. We do. Mm-hmm. We do. We do have an actual social responsibility. If we didn't everybody could be out there. Yeah. doing it. But we are who we are because of that community that have subscribed and follow what we do. Why not be real with them? Why create this facade of all oh, this and that? And you've seen people even just photoshopping themselves in front of a plane Jesus Christ. <laughs> like like who <laughs> <laughs> even so shopping like, themselves on top of somebody else's body i'm like yeah. why why would you wake up in the morning and say yeah. to do such a thing that's living a lie mm. so yes we do and the best we can do is lead ourselves to the best versions mm-hmm. of who we are who we can be yeah and you know the the others will follow suit because we are the pioneers really yeah yeah um I know we've talked a lot about the negative sides of mm-hmm. social media and the yeah. pressure that comes with it. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like social media has impacted you in any positive ways? Oh my goodness, in so so many mm-hmm. positive ways than the negative ways. Mm-hmm. Um it's exposed me to a lot, especially learning. Mm-hmm. Um my background is law, so I'm a lawyer and if I was practicing fully completely in law I wouldn't have learned even half of the things I've learned from okay. social media mm. the interactions I've had with people the conversations I've had with people uh, you know engaging in policy making engaging in conversations that matter yeah so it's been amazing and the fact that also I've built my brand it means that whichever direction I decide to take my career I would never regret the fact that I've built something for myself mm. yeah I love everything you've said because I think I agree with all of it. Um mm-hmm. for me definitely the opportunities that have been presented to me because of social media. Mm-hmm. I look at it as a blessing and yeah. a privilege of some yeah. sort that yeah. I get to enjoy mm-hmm. what I do. Mm-hmm. Um I'm open to working with companies like Estee Lauder who yeah. I never thought mm-hmm. I would work with, you know, international brands yeah. who are great at what they do mm-hmm. and they think I'm great at what I am <laughs> what I do as well and yeah. they give me opportunities yes. I think that's definitely um something that I don't take for granted I think also the learning like you're saying yeah. for me TikTok is where I learn everything everything mm-hmm. I know yeah <laughs> not everything I know but a lot I of what things. I know yeah. I don't go and search anywhere else I go and search on TikTok right. and I learn there yeah. and I think also it's exposed me to a community of people mm-hmm. i've built like a community of people who you know they root for me mm-hmm. i know their stories because people tell me their mm-hmm. stories they mm-hmm. share things with me mm-hmm. they support me they back me like like i don't even have to fight my own battles people yeah, fight for me which is so nice it's, it's to nice to have thing. like you know such a community mm. that rides and dies yeah, for you yeah. and vice versa yeah. um so i don't think social media is a 100% negative mm. um i do think the pressure especially on our mental health mm. is quite a lot and i know I mean they say comparison is the thief of joy mm-hmm. but I don't think we take that into account and how mm-hmm. comp- how much 
how easy it is to compare ourselves with other people and feel like we're not yeah. doing enough with our lives yeah. you know and mm. i think even like i'm trying to be aware of the things that i post because i know as a consumer mm-hmm. i'll go, there's a time everyone was doing like the 5 a.m club 5 a.m club thing, thing. Yeah. And I can't wake up at 5 a.m. to Girl. save my life. Girl. <laughs> and I tried and I was just like, am I just like lazy? No. Am I just like not a productive person? Like, why can't I wake up at 5 a.m.? Take cold showers, mm-hmm. do all of these things. Like I, I, I like I, I like a warm mm-hmm. shower. I just yeah. can't. Yeah. I just can't take a cold shower. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I try to use it to motivate me mm-hmm. instead of pulling me down and yeah. making me feel like mm-hmm. I'm not doing enough and whatever mm-hmm. and try to like build healthier habits yeah. around that mm-hmm. so have you caught yourself in any moments where you you're like actually mm-hmm. where have I learned this thing and mm-hmm. why am I doing this thing mm-hmm. yeah of course of course it's always every day in fact uh there's this other thing where people come actually say when you spend too much time on social media it's like you're addicted and whatever mm-hmm. but i'm like when i'm out there i learn so much every day mm-hmm. and so sometimes you have to really pull yourself back and say what works for me does it mean going to bed at 3 a.m. and waking up at mid the following day i need to compare myself with a person who wakes up at 5 a.m. no it's mm-hmm. whatever works for you if you have a rhythm in a system that makes you grow mm-hmm. and it fits your space yeah that's all you need to know and and mm-hmm. again with someone like me it comes in different tiers and even, even motherhood mm-hmm. there's that guilt you feel someone who look at you and say why haven't you done that for your child i'm mm-hmm. like i just should one second of it yeah there's so much more you don't know yeah. you know and yeah. how what kind of a crazy woman am i yeah. to do things that will harm my children surely mm. yeah but i say see what works for you and that's what i've been doing personally and stick to it mm-hmm. if just following the crowd that thing of being a sheep mentally trying to yeah. just yeah i think just just identify what works for yeah. you yeah yeah i completely agree and mm-hmm. you know like you were saying Me honestly my screen time is not healthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't even mention it on camera because it's very embarrassing. <laughs> I'm trying to reduce it. Mm-hmm. Um but like you're saying it's not all just like me mis- mindlessly scrolling. Yeah. I learned yeah. so much. Um mm-hmm. I actually learned how to do my makeup on YouTube. That's where I learned. I exactly. would go, I mm-hmm. watched Dima. Her name is Dima Ume, Jackie mm-hmm. Aina, like mm-hmm. the OG mm-hmm. YouTube mm-hmm. makeup girlies. Yeah. I, that's how I learned how to do my makeup. So yeah. even when there were those like negative comments yeah. when oh. I was being trolled in 2020, yeah. I had just started learning how to do my makeup. Right. So of course, like I don't know how to like shade match yeah. and like do all of those things mm-hmm. yet. Mm-hmm. Or my eyelashes are wonky or my one eyebrow is over there. <laughs> But like yeah. without social media, mm-hmm. if people ask me like how like how do you know how to do your makeup blah blah, blah. Mm-hmm. i learned on social media yeah. like you can learn so much yeah. like from the school of youtube and tiktok and, and all of that absolutely yeah, yeah so i don't think it's 100% no 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 there's a lot negative. with any with yeah. any tool it's how well you use it uh if you decide to make enemies with something that is already a world movement you will mm-hmm. suffer yeah. especially again being a parent and media mm-hmm. like i've been able to find a balance where i can allow my kids to consume content at a certain time instead of fighting the entire system and then uh, when they are older they are sneaking behind my back yeah, to go to and go. watch other things yeah. we may you just make peace with it yeah actually yeah. how do you control social media use for your kids yeah so of, of course they have their gadgets which <laughs> I've really really done everything I can like to put a parental control. We have an agreement on time and days to use. So between Monday and Friday unless um especially my older one has homework mm-hmm. in uh, the Google Classroom, uh not no tablets. Mm-hmm. Weekends or when we're traveling or when we're doing something monotonous, then they, they will have it. But I have a rule. I have to hear what you're watching. Oh. 
okay yeah because so sometimes headphones. yeah because yeah. sometimes these kids will go into some other directions oh my goodness mm. kids are so weird they can't tie their shoelaces but they'll, <laughs> they'll so be there savvy. coding and <laughs> yeah. you know trying to to yeah. break into out of their parental restriction uh jail and actually they did that actually a, a few weeks ago so they observed what mm. a password i use and they were quiet mm. and then i caught one and i was like how did you know i said ah you did it and i was standing behind you of course you have to beat the yeah. system but i think it's mm. just you know explaining to them and making them understand that uh, social media not even social media because them they mostly uh access educational material mm -hmm. it has to be fun yeah. and they have to start with so we have an agreement the first 15 minutes either get in duolingo or get your coding done mm. and then now you can go to youtube kids mm. or whatever yeah yeah you know sometimes i forget you're a mom <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you say such things and i'm like you actually i, I forget you're, sometimes yeah, too. You're like who are these two. yeah and i think that's what's like the beautiful thing about you because like there are so many different versions of you and yeah. so many different stories mm -hmm. that encompass who maureen is yes. you know i also forgot that you were a lawyer mm -hmm. and now i was like yeah she <laughs> is that she you model as yeah, well yes. you had the You are doing like the billboards yes. and yeah. you are in everywhere in River Road yeah. with that brand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's just yeah, it's it's I love that there are so many different versions and stories of who you yeah. are. Yeah. Um and even as we close, mm -hmm. I just wanted to remind people yeah. about the um, Rusty Lauder mm -hmm. and the Foundation Fridays mm -hmm. but they have this beautiful campaign called I yes. am all my stories yes. um which Maureen has shared some <laughs> of her stories but yes. there's so many more facets of who you are mm -hmm. um so they have this beautiful campaign called I am all my stories mm -hmm. and you know they're just empowering women through the month of women's month mm -hmm. the month of March yes. to just embrace all the different versions of who you are mm -hmm. don't let social media pressure you know try to steer you yeah. and try to you know not not you know deter you to deter you from yeah. <laughs> um not embracing certain versions and mm -hmm. and and versions of who you are mm -hmm. um yeah so i'll see you i'll see you on friday oh, uh, yeah, foundation it's happening. friday it's it's happening any woman who walks into linton's mm -hmm. even a man i mean there's some guys who like their foundation there's a seven day um small Sample. foundation yeah. giveaway that you can go just test it out and bottom line is i want women and with this month to for themselves to remember that you don't have to be one thing you can mm -hmm. you can wear all the hats and you're all those hats mm -hmm. don't be restricted by anyone to not tell your story and you know mm -hmm. storytelling is very powerful we're yeah. here this is storytelling yeah. we consume sto oh sorry <laughs> mm -hmm. we consume storytelling every single day mm. and um i think the campaign is perfect like i started saying estelada has soul estelada mm -hmm. you you it's not just beauty product everything has a story mm -hmm. and in this case we are all our stories yeah. yes that's so wonderful um so usually at the end of the episode we ask our guests to share their best kept secret mm -hmm. on whatever we've been on our conversation to, of today so what would you say your best kept secret on social media and the pressure in mental health would be wow <laughs> i didn't see that coming i know it's there but i didn't see that coming uh my best kept secret is my spirituality mm. god is the beginning and the end for me yeah even when i'm putting out content i pray for it Oh that's yes. wonderful. I usually yeah. say that's why I loved the prayer we started with and I was like she's speaking yeah? yeah. I do not send anything out there because I know how powerful it is. I have I see uh 100,000 200,000 people access that content and I'm like who did I put out there? Is it informative? Yeah. Is it ins inspiring? Mm. Is it kind? Is it warm? Mm -hmm. and i've seen a huge change along mm -hmm. the way so anything i put out there i'm i'm like god yeah uh, you you if you if it's not going to the right direction mm -hmm. you, you you'll know you i i hope yeah. i can learn from it as well but that's yeah. purely like I, mm -hmm. yeah i pray for everything yeah yeah you know those two words you've said kind and warm yeah. that's what we actually feel like <laughs> me as a consumer of your content oh. i do feel like the kindness and the warmth 
from your content you know and even mm-hmm. as i interact with you as a person mm-hmm. that's what i always feel i'm always like say, saying to kago my mm-hmm. partner mm-hmm. i was telling him yeah. maureen is so sweet <laughs> she's so like she's just so sweet like i think you know the kind and the warmth that you're saying that's mm-hmm. actually what you radiate as a person oh, wow. and from your content mm-hmm. um for me i think i would say my best kept secret would be unfollow people aha <laughs> block <laughs> and follow people i do i yeah. did like a social media audit where i went on yeah. my follow mm-hmm, list mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, i just followed uh, i unfollowed yeah. a bunch of pages mm-hmm. a bunch of people yeah. people that i felt like do i want to consume yeah. their yeah. content yeah. anymore mm-hmm. um do their does their content like trigger me does mm-hmm. it pressure me mm-hmm. Um, is it like edifying yep, me? Yep. Is it making me feel some type of way? Mm-hmm. I I just unfollowed a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. Um, I also um did this thing at the beginning of the year where I decided that I'm having like a no gossip page rule for uh-huh, myself, yeah. so I don't consume any yes. content from any gossip pages. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Yeah, I unfollowed. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I didn't follow. I never used to follow mm-hmm. any of them, mm-hmm. but. I intentionally don't go to any of those pages. Yep. I don't I don't want to know actually. I don't mm, want to know because mm, it mm. just comes with so much negativity oh and goodness. I just I just put that rule for myself and it's been working out great. So this is your sign. Yeah. yeah. Go and mm, follow mm, mm-hmm. anyone who is not in alignment with who you are trying yeah. to be as a person. Mm-hmm. Anyone that triggers you, gives you pressure, anyone that affects your makes your mental health be affected, any content that you consume that makes you feel anything any like negativity yeah. any mm-hmm. yeah so my my instagram follow list right now is just like mostly clothes yeah. <laughs> and just pages to buy clothes and um my actual friends mm-hmm. and like people i look up to in the industry mm-hmm. and yeah that's pretty much it nice that that's a good wow that's a good way i i actually have done it but i didn't realize like mm. hearing somebody else doing it i'm like wait a minute yeah. i think at uh, that time i think 2020 was so dark for both of us i blocked every single gossip page I do not know what goes on there yeah. and I even also told my friends if you ever send me a link yeah, to any story know. that's going yeah. on if you call me and ask me oh Marina I said uh 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 don't yeah. there's a reason why like it's it purify your your content purify what you put in your mind people don't realize that you have this gate the gates are your eyes your mm-hmm. mouth your ears mm-hmm. whatever you hear whatever you see whatever you speak or respond to yeah. that's who you become feed your mind with amazing things and you've said it is what you're consuming every day aligning mm-hmm. to who you want to become I are the people one, yeah. around you the ones are they pushing you to get there so i wish more people just had the courage to mm-hmm. yeah block mute do whatever yeah, you cannot do block mute yeah um tunnel vision to yeah. just you and your goals yeah. and who you're trying to be and mm-hmm. who you want to be and yeah. you know all the rest is just you know i i social media is not a real place yeah. um it's just a, a fantasy world yeah. where people show us the best versions of themselves and <laughs> their highlights mm-hmm. the highlight reels of their lives not yeah. their act not their actual full mm-hmm. lives mm-hmm. so yeah just remember that and thank you so much Marie no, for thank coming you, thank you um yeah this was as usual every time i talk to you it's just easy um to talk to you it never feels like you know this weird energy or mm. anything like that mm. so thank you for coming thank you for having me once again i'm very proud of you thank you and may this grow um you know beyond your imagination yeah and everything you touch may it also grow amen. beyond your imagination amen we're thank here you. with our pom poms thank you <laughs> and i will see you on friday see you yes. guys on friday at lint foundation <laughs> friday you are all your stories Bye. Thank you for watching if you're watching us on YouTube and thank you for listening if you're listening to us on our podcast platforms. You'll see us or hear us in our next episode. Bye. Change happens every day. It's all around us. It's in the choices we make, in the dreams we dare to dream. It's the voices we raise, all the lives we live. every single day confidence inspires change i am amanda gorman 
I am a global change maker. 